YouTube guys welcome to my channel if you're new my name is Din and I'm going to show you how to prepare your ingredients mix the spices and then cook the dish very simple method I'm going to use so please follow the instructions hi guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to cook another two curries from my series of restaurant style curries and the first one's going to be chicken buna so first put in uh, a tablespoon of uh, our seasoned oil, half a teaspoon of the grated garlic and some green pepper and uh, four pieces of tomato as you can see. Then uh, add your chicken. We're going to cook this very quickly as you know. Restaurant style curries don't take long to cook because we've done all the prep first. So hopefully this will only take about five minutes. Put in two heap spoons of buna onions as you can see. You do need to watch all the uh, videos I've uh, made for the series of restaurant style curries to really understand how it's all done. I've added a, a teaspoon of mixed spice and some meti leaves and some fresh coriander here before we're going to add our base gravy which uh, there is a video of as you know. So we're going to add uh, maybe a, a, one large ladle of base gravy, a little bit more oil to give it more texture. Restaurant style curries are very easy to cook once you have all the prep done, as you know. And what we're going to do is bring it up to heat and then slowly uh, reduce uh, the liquid to make it the buna. And just before you serve, what you want to do is tilt the frying pan uh, or just a little bit up and you'll see the oil drain to the bottom. What you want to do is basically take the oil out before you serve. And that's how quick the buna is to make. The buna is one of my favorites and it's very tasty. As you can see like now, the oil will slowly just go down to the bottom just lift the frying pan up just slightly uh, to give it a kind of flow yeah. and that's my buna for you so uh, I hope you enjoy it if you like add a little bit of chili to this because I like a little bit of chili maybe half a teaspoon and that'll give it even more flavor that's our buna and the next one we're going to cook is uh, chicken Malayan chicken Malayan is similar to kurma but anyway, let's do the Malayan first, and later I'll show you how to do the kurma. First get your chicken, and one and a half teaspoon of coconut, one and a half teaspoon of sugar goes in, and a little bit of sultanas, and half a cup of carnation milk. You can use cream, if you wish, it's entirely up to you. Give that a good mix, and bring it to the boil. Because we have all the spices mixed in our base gravy and everything is tasty, our preparation of these type of curries is very easy and very quick, as you will learn to see. So give it a good stir. Now what we're going to do is basically reduce this uh, to the right thickness. By this time the chicken will be nice and hot and everything will be done. So once it's bubbling away and it's thickening up, then you're going to add your pieces of pineapple. Normally, four or five pieces of pineapple, uh, one curry is more than enough. And give that a good stir. And after a couple of minutes, then your uh, Malayan is done. That's it, folks. Uh, these are the two curries for this week. Uh, I hope you try them. They're very nice. And uh, let me know uh, how you get on. Uh, bye for now. And uh, see you next week.